Welcome teachers, I'm Teacher Sav with ESL EDB. Today I'm going to show you all about Class in CAM. Um, I'll show you all of its features and how to use it in your classes with your students. This is a new function, so as you can tell right now, my video is not quite um, set up perfectly with my um, speaking and my voice. Unfortunately, it is new. They are fixing the bugs in this and it will get better later. But one of the cool things about Class in Cam is that it's a free alternative to ManyCam or ManyCam and you can use it not only on Class in but on Zoom and other platforms as well because of this. The first step is to download Class in Cam, and I will provide a link for both the Mac and the Windows Class in Cam download um, buttons in the description of this video. Now, this is important. Um, when you are going to use Class in Cam, you need to go up here to your um, webcam, um, your local camera options, and you can choose your regular FaceTime camera, or you can click on Class in Cam virtual camera. So when you first download Class in Cam, you need to completely exit out of Class in. Um, because when I did this, I was like, why can't I find the Class in Cam virtual camera in my camera options list? I had to completely close out Class in, log out, and then log back in, and then it popped up. So if you don't see it in your local camera options, do that, or you can uninstall and reinstall Class in so that it notices there's a new camera um, that you can select. Okay, so you've downloaded Class in Cam. This is what the app looks like on your computer. And here, um, when you come into it, you'll see some different things on the top. So video. Here you can choose the video source. Um, you can zoom in. <laughs> so maybe if you're teaching something like eyes, you can zoom in on your eyes. Um, or you can change the brightness. Um, so if you're in a dark room, you know, this might be useful then. I'm not in a dark room, so I don't need that. You can change the contrast um, and also the saturation as well. The next tab is beauty and basically all this does is it lightens up your face a little bit. I'm not a big fan of this one just because it just makes your face a little bit wider. But when this might be useful um, is maybe again you're in a dark room and um, you don't have enough light so you could use this. It's going to lighten up your face a little bit and make it easier for the student to see you. Let's talk about the stickers, probably the the category that's the most fun here. So we have two different kinds of stickers. We have dynamic and static. Starting with the dynamic stickers, we're not currently able to add to these right now, unfortunately, but hopefully um, we'll be able to add to them in the future. But basically you can just click on them and they'll pop up both here and in your uh, actual uh, class in classroom as well. Um, so there's lots of different fun options here that you can use with your students. Also, since this one is in Chinese, just so you know, it says hao hao shui shi, which means uh, study hard or like let's go and study basically. Um, so it's just sort of a Chinese encouragement for uh, your Chinese students. Now let's take a look at the static stickers. The, this is where you can really start to um, customize Class in Cam for your students and for your lessons. So they have a few here that are already here for us. There's a little sunshine. You can drag these all over the screen and as you can see um, it shows up in your Class in Classroom as well. I have noticed that when you drag it, it does make the video lag for a moment as you can see. So just keep that in mind when you're dragging it around. But the really fun thing about the static stickers is that you can add to these stickers. I believe right now you can upload up to 50 different images. So I uploaded the cherry, you can see um, over here, oh, over here. <laughs> um, and you can upload really anything that you're going to talk about with the student. Let's upload a few now so we can see how this will work. So you click on the upload button. And then you'll come to um, basically, you know, your system, your library. So you can find any of the um, artwork that you have on your computer here. Here I'm going to upload a few different ones for us. And here we go, they're uploading. Now let's say um, maybe we're teaching the student about some different um, drinks. Maybe I could ask them, do you want uh, water or do you want juice? See, we can sort of use these as props in our classroom. 
Also, you can have up to 10 stickers on your screen. I have 10 on here right now. They're all sort of overlapped, but look, if I try to put another one, it will say the loading of stickers has reached the maximum amount. Please delete some stickers before loading. Okay. Now, the other thing that you can do here is here we're on default scene one. Now, I can set these up before class so they're already ready for my different classes and students depending on what um, I want to teach them. So, we click the plus button. Here, it's switched over to Manicam, but I want it to be my normal FaceTime camera. Um, and then here, as you can see, there's nothing on it. But if I click back onto default scene one, now I have all of these items. So we could set up different scenes. Let's say we want uh, juice and water on one, and on default scene five, we want, uh, let's see, maybe we want, oh, I'm not sure, a sunshine uh, and a backpack. So we can set this up so we can go through and we don't have to click on the stickers manually while we're teaching and it just makes this process a whole lot faster. Now the other tab um, that's also here, let me delete these real quick, is the background option. I will say for sure that they need to improve this option. Um, I'm not sure if it's just because my hair is blue, but as you can see, it kind of just gets rid of my hair, <laughs> which maybe that's fine. Um, but the blur background option does work quite well, and you can still see your hands well and everything. Like I said, with the other options, uh, it's not that great right now. But this is new, so they're going to be upgrading this. You can also upload images. I uploaded this one, ESL EDB. So you could create your own custom background. But right now, I would say probably best without that or just use the blur because, um, like I said, maybe it's my blue hair, but they sort of need to upgrade this function a little bit. Here are some other things to note about the class in cam. Um, when you're doing this and adding stickers um, to your video, it's not going to add them to the student's video. They can also download class in cam if they would like, but you cannot control what stickers they would put up. So this is something that is just for the teacher's video, not the student's video. And like I said earlier, there are definitely things that need to be improved with class in cam. However, it is a great free alternative to Manicam and you can also use it with different platforms, not only class in, but also Zoom or whatever other uh, teaching platform that you are using. Thanks for watching and happy teaching from ESL EDB.